When your kindred's pale, you gotta use a pale label and a red cap. Hey, it's Brain Muffin back with a beer review you can use. So today we have something very interesting. So the last time I was over at Jungle Gems looking at beers, I came across Kindred. What caught my eye was it was $2.99 for the bottle you see here. And I was like, this has got to be old beer or something that's sitting on the shelf. Then, I, then I'm like, well, where are they from? Well, Columbus. Now, here, here's what I don't know. I don't know if it's a real craft brewer or if this is just some Budweiser garbage because there is a craft brewer, there is a Budweiser brewery in Columbus and the price was, well, a little too much to be believed. Now, I think they use recycled paper. They do have on here, please recycle. This is Kindred, um, Kindred, you know, proudly brewed by Kindred Brewing. Pale ale with, with juicy, citrusy, hot flavor and aroma. So... On Untap, this particular beer has got a decent rating, but not very much. Um, it's an American Pale Ale, and that's all I know. 6.3%. We don't know the IBUs, so let's find out if this is real or fake. Because, you know, it's a half a liter for $3. I mean, come on. When Toby's trying to get into something, I can hear him got a nice golden color like we'd expect it's got some decent carbonation feels a little bit bright tanky ooh and there's some other mm, I'm not so sure about this one there's a hint of oxidization just lingering in there hmm It's not very often that I get a beer that I, I, I want to pour out. This has been sitting out a while, and this is the proper temperature for this beer. But it's not very good. There might be a reason why it's $2.99. The other one was $3.99 for the same size bottle for the farmhouse ale. This is not looking good, folks. This may be a first here on Late TV where I pour one out on camera. I've poured out better beer than this <clears throat> that I've made. <clears throat> wow. The aftertaste is horrible. There's a hint of hops on the nose. Very little. It has a maltiness about it that says I've been oxidized. Oh. It's like it was a good beer and it ain't no more. That's why I was looking for a date to see if this stuff was just too old. But I noticed that right off the nose. I've had beers oxidize on me, and it's almost, it almost, it almost tastes rusty. I mean, it's oxidization, obviously not of, of ferrous. It's not ferrous oxide. It's not real rust, but it has this, this, ugh. Mm. I mean, there's a nice malt backbone on the aroma, okay? But that malt has gotten too much oxygen in it, and the yeast hasn't converted it, and it's, it's bound, and it's just kind of, uh, just kind of stale. Man, I want. It's like a beer I want to like, but you know, the average rating is a 3.6, so it could be I have a bad bottle. But man, you know, that's why I keep, it's not a sour. Mm. I don't know. I mean, this is this is like a two and a half to me. I mean, I've had worse. Uh, Joe's, um, I think it was Joe's Ordinary Beer, or something like that. That was horrible. It's not as bad as a Bud Light, but man, it does not. Hmm. Whew. I may have to get a different bottle of this and see if it's any better. Because right, this is this is crap. I mean, this is bottled crap. Like, this is terrible, terrible beer. And I'm gonna see what others have said. I'm giving this a two and a quarter. 
It's like it was a good beer. It was a three. And you can taste that beer. Got two. Oh, I, got, I got two badges for this beer. That's that's horrible. Uh, I'm trying to see if I if there are other check-ins to just to see if maybe I've got a bad batch, a bad bottle. Three and a half, four. Bale in, in this bottle type before. So maybe I just have a bad bottle. Um, a lot of some people have had it on draft. A lot of people giving it solid fours, three and a quarter, four. So it just could be I have a bad bottle. I mean, that does happen. Uh, it's going to happen in a lot of craft brewers because they're smaller. Things can enter the, the lines that are a little bit difficult to spot. But yeah, two and a quarter for this. Now the beer that it, the three beer that I would say that I would give it, or maybe even a three and a half, has a multi backbone. It doesn't have a hoppy backbone. That's also what's missing. There's supposed to be a lot of hops in this, and that's what should be when it's cold. That's what all I should get is the hops, and I'm not getting any. But the beer that it feels like it was is a a good, decent, have with a hearty meal type beer. You know, stews, um, very fishy fish, salmon. Now you could do lobster too. But once those really hearty flavors, you know, I wouldn't say heavy, but really good spice, not necessarily spicy, but flavorful, lots of flavor, lots of garlic and other things. So you can have Indian food, but not things like Mexican and stuff where they're, they're just kind of bland, but Italian, French. Mmm. But uh, we'll see. All right. Sorry to end on such a down note. I was actually hoping for something better, and I'm going to have to get another bottle of this stuff and see if we just got a bad bottle. Um, I'll let this kind of air a little bit and see if it gets any better, but I don't think it will. Uh, but there were no signs. I mean, obviously, we didn't have any overflow when we poured it. There was no other signs of possible oxidization. I just think it's the malts that have oxidized, and they just kind of, ugh. You know, unless that's the hops. That's supposed to be the juicy, chewy hops. I don't know. But, yeah, yes, so I don't like it, and I like hoppy beers. All right, thank you very much for stopping by. Uh, thanks, they don't all, they're not all winners. Thanks for sharing the videos, being in a lot of retweets from uh, Nick and some other people, and uh, I think um, Lime Green Hulk as well. Thank you very much for those gentlemen, and we appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Bye. Are you done? Bist du fertig? Wir haben einmal zu tun bitten. Geh zu Platz. Einmal, Tobi. Einmal. Sitz. Alright, Tobi. anything to eat. We'll go out in just a minute. We're recording, Tubby. I hope. We're recording, Tubby. You know what? I just remember now. Pale, pale, pale.